Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Father Ted Talks. Today, I wanted to speak about a very important topic, and that is feeling and action. Feeling and action. What are the difference between the two, and which one is more important? So, a couple of weeks ago, we celebrated St. Gregory Palamas, which was the second uh, Sunday of Great Lent. And St. Gregory Palamas, who was the Archbishop of Thessaloniki in the 14th century, was most famous for his doctrine on essence and energies. Now, what are essence and energies? Basically, he taught that the essence of God, like the, the, the internal being of God, uh, who he is, the, the stuff that makes divinity, is unknowable to human beings. But human beings are able to access knowing and knowledge of God and a real experience of God through God's actions in the world, right? So we cannot know his essence, but we can know his energies, his actions within the world. And of course, we see this in many, many different ways uh, throughout Scripture. Uh, you know, God intervenes and does many different things and acts in many different ways throughout both the Old Testament and the New Testament, and of course, throughout the history of uh, the church. And so, you know, all what we can know, all that we can perceive is his energies, you know, how he enters into the world, into his creation, and how he operates within the world. Uh, the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, this has very much to do with the way we operate as well, right? So, God is, is, is essence and energies. His essence is unknowable, but his energies, his actions are, are knowable. And that's how we know who God is and how he reveals himself. In the same way, we as human beings, we have a soul and then we have a body, right? And the soul, which is the divine element, the mystical element of ourselves, of what God gives us when he creates us, is one could say a little bit unknowable, right? It is invisible. We do not actually physically see it. And yet we believe that we have a soul and that it is part of us. It is interwoven into our physical uh, nature, right? Into our physical bodies. And so when we talk about knowing other human beings or people knowing us, who we are as, as, as people and as individuals, one can really only know us through our actions. Of course, one could say that people can also know us by the things we say. For example, I'm, I'm speaking to all of you right now and I am conveying a message. People can get to know me by the things I say. But the most important thing I would say is our actions, you know, what we do in this world. Uh, and the reason why I make this distinction between, you know, what we think and what we feel versus what we do is a lot of times we tend to think and feel a lot of different things internally in our minds in our hearts and our souls. You know, we think about a lot of different things. We think about the future. We think about the past. We think about what we would want to be or not be. We think about other people, both in good ways and negative ways. We judge. Um, we forgive. We, you know, uh, do a lot of things inside our minds. But those things are not perceptible to other people. And so the outside world, or I guess you could say the physical world, society as we see it today, is not really, um, you know, affected so much by what is going on on the inside, but rather how that inside life, that internal life, what we think and what we feel, how that's actually manifested in our actual actions, right? So I would say that how we feel is nowhere near as important as what we do. And if you pay attention in the Orthodox world, what we do is we worship. We worship, we come to church, we pray, we do acts of kindness, acts of charity, we fast, we receive Holy Communion, we participate in the sacraments of the church. Um, even when we repent, which is a change of mind, uh, repentance also is supposed to be followed by right action, right? Attempting not to do the sin again, you know, or reconcile with somebody or try to make something right. So there are always actions, uh, practical actions that follow the decisions that we make. And so, you know, a lot of times people say, Father, you know, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. Uh, I believe, but I really don't go to church. Uh, I consider myself to be Orthodox, but I don't consider it important to actually live the Orthodox lifestyle. And of course, my, my response to this is exactly what we're talking about today, that it doesn't really matter so much how I feel. Like I may feel that I am, for example, an employee working at McDonald's, but until I actually show up to a shift and I actually work, I'm not going to get paid. Uh, it's like that in the business world. It's like that in school, right? Like I may feel like I have a degree, uh, you know, as, as, a, as for example, uh, I might have a, a, a medical degree or um, a law degree, but until I actually physically go to school, study, pass the tests, write my essays, and receive my diploma, 
I really am not that thing, regardless of how I feel about it. Right? And so in the same way, to be an Orthodox Christian, to be a follower of Christ, what does Christ say? You know, we just spoke about it uh, this past Sunday, the Sunday of the cross, halfway through Holy Lent. Uh, you know, Christ says, whoever would come after me, he doesn't say uh, they, they should feel good or they should feel like they believe in me or they should say they believe in me. Christ doesn't say any of that. He says, whoever would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. So he's, he's calling everybody to, a, to an actual action, to, to, you know, putting their faith in action, which is exactly uh, the, the name of the other series that we have on this channel, Faith in Action. You know, how do we live our lives? And so uh, one could say that how we feel about being Orthodox or how we feel about being uh, faithful Christians, uh, how we feel about God or how we feel about other human beings, all those things, if they don't translate into actual actions, they're irrelevant. They don't help us in our faith because we as Christians are called to be the light of the world. You know, we are there to show Christ to other human beings through our actions, right? You know, um, St. Paul says, you know, by their fruits or by our fruits, for example, the Christians, they will know us, right? So the fruits of love and compassion and charity and kindness and forgiveness, those are things that we do in the world, not things that we think or the things that we feel, right? A lot of times I may not feel like doing the right thing. I may not feel like fulfilling my obligations, whether it be to my work, to my family, to school. I may not feel like doing it, but I do it because this is my obligation, because I have made a pledge to do it. And so this builds integrity within me. This makes me a reliable person. I do what is necessary and I do what is right, even when I don't feel like it, right? And going to church, being part of a community, sacrificing for your local community, volunteering for your local community, participating in the sacraments, participating in the journey of Great Lent, which we're in right now, all those things, even when we don't feel like it or we don't think we need it, we still do it because we understand that there is a, a benefit that comes out of it, right? It's the same thing when we go to the gym, right? A lot of times I may not feel like going to the gym, but I still force myself to go because I understand the long-term benefits of it, that just doing it, sometimes even just going through the motions will have a positive effect on my body and will also have a positive effect on my mind, right? In the same way, prayer, the spiritual life requires action, requires the things that we need to do to follow Christ. And so, especially now during the Lenten season, this is kind of like my message to all of you uh, for this particular video, that how we feel and what we think about ourselves is nowhere near as important as what we actually do. So we should get up off the couch, out of our homes, out of our minds, out of our, you know, our thoughts and put into practice what the church gives us to do in order to kind of live our faith in a very real way to help somebody else to have a positive impact on the world so that we can make the world a better place. We can truly be the light of the world. Till next time, this is Father Ted saying, God bless, have a blessed Lenten journey, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care. Mm -hmm.